Hi, my name is Yolanda and I'm an artist. I'm sharing this for March 2021 for Brain Injury Awareness Month. Um, I just wanted to share a small um, background about myself and how I started this journey to become a full-time artist. Um, in 2015, I hit my head on a fixed object and it, to, I was okay, but I had, um, like a concussion and a couple of days later I lost, like, out of nowhere, my ability to like walk and talk, and I had to go to emergency room. And then, um, after that, it took about 24 hours, and I was walking really terribly, but I could do it. And my speech was not back, but I was doing my best. And, um, I didn't get any type of therapies or anything. I just went to a neurologist and the only thing they could tell me was that I had migraines and I had to go through a lot of tests. And um, after all these years basically, that's the only treatment that I really had. Um, like after that happened, it made it really hard for me to work my regular jobs. So, I, in 2016, I started, um, painting when I was at home, because I was at home all day, and, um, I slowly started getting a routine for my painting, even though I wasn't always feeling well, and, um, basically that's how I started on this path to... Um, becoming a full-time artist because I couldn't do the other work I used to, office work or admin or even other physical work I could do before it was too hard for me. So I started um, painting and sharing my work and learning to share my work on social media, even though it's hard for me sometimes to use computers and stuff. But, um... Uh, yeah, that's basically how I got started on going down this path to become an artist. And I also know that even though I didn't have lots of therapies, like some people might, or have resources, medical resources, and stuff like that, like other people, I truly believe in my heart that God is with me and He helps me. And he's helping me to get through this for whatever reason I have to go through it. I don't know all the reasons or or when things will get 100% better. But I just keep going best I can each day. And I, I didn't do a video because every time I get ready to do a video, it just seems like it doesn't work out. And, well... I thought this would be kind of good because people could still hear my story, see some of my work, and then uh, maybe it would encourage them to keep going, keep trying, and not to give up. And um, especially people who are artists who might feel like it's super hard to work at your art craft while you're healing, but, um, if I can do it, you can definitely keep trying, and just, all you have to do, my advice, is do whatever your therapies are, and take care of yourself, and, um, just take your time, and, um, do what, what you can do, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Because, um, that's the best thing that has happened, um, I've figured out. 
I'm not sure what else I should share or what to share, but that seemed like the most important thing to me. Um, but the rest of this month I'll be sharing art tips. They're pretty quick and, um, on YouTube and I might figure out how to put them on IGTV too. But I just wanted to share a little bit from my story to encourage someone, um, during this month. And we are more than our brain injuries and we can overcome and even though um, we might compare things and say we want to be like we used to be, like our old self. Maybe we can just try to hold on and and make the best of our new self because a lot of times when this happens, other doors might open and it might not seem as good, but it actually might work out. Um work out so I hope that you'll have a great day I hope you're encouraged that you can overcome some and you can um, pursue your career in art even if you have um, a head injury and you're dealing with different symptoms just don't give up do the best you can you know work Work when you can. Take care of yourself. Um, those are the best tips I know that I've learned on the, on this path. So, thank you for listening.